Okay. Then, because the, the, the goal of this is not computation, the goal of this project is um, compiling data, organizing your data, and displaying your data. This is all about how you are displaying data, data. Uh, so that's the, this, it's a pretty easy project in those terms. Okay, so you're gonna screenshot it like we said, you're gonna put the amount of each, you're gonna have an appetizing relevant picture to go with it. Okay, make it, if, you're, if you have turkey, don't put like a, a bird on there. Don't put a turkey bird with feathers on there. Make it look appetizing. Be creative with this. Put a picture of like you, like this, and then Photoshop you holding a turkey leg or whatever it might be. We want to get creative. If all you do is compile the data and robotic about it, you're not going to get a great grade. You'll get a C. C's the average. Uh, but we want you to go above and beyond. Okay. So you're going to make it into a slideshow. I put Google Slides, but you could do Canva too if you want, um, or some, a different slideshow type. Um, use some creativity. Be unique. I did put the rubric on here. Some of you didn't look at the rubric last time or didn't reread stuff before you turned in your project, your vocab project. Some of you had good projects, but you were missing the easiest points ever. You didn't put a works cited page on there, though it clearly said it there and it clearly had it on the rubric. Some of you didn't have written directions, even though it clearly said both those things. Always make sure when you finish a project, you go back and you make sure you do what was asked in that project, okay? This is exactly what's asked. You have some kind of introduction. You have at least five items, could be more. You have the total protein, total sugar. You have some kind of conclusion. You use creativity and you're very thorough in it. Okay, that's what needs to be. Your introduction should be multiple slides. I know I spelled it wrong here. Don't do multiple slides, do multiple slides. Okay, you probably have a first slide that says, Fantasy Thanksgiving Meal by Jack McCammon and Jack capitalizes his name correctly. And he's got some kind of picture of him, like, I don't know, with a bunch of food on it or something. And then the, the next slide that kind of introduces the project. Hey, this year I get to choose my own meal. This is what I'm gonna do. And then at least five slides showing what that meal consists of. And then having a slide with all the total stuff on it. And then some conclusions, maybe multiple slides concluding it, summing it up and then ending it clearly. Not just having a slide that says the end on it. It doesn't really make sense with this. Okay. You've got some creativity going beyond just the basics. It's original. It's different than everyone else's in some way. Be creative. Be thorough. Be well thought out. Make sure that it follows an easy to follow format. We'll present some of these, but you're not turning it in like it's for presentation. You're turning it in like that's your final product. Okay, so if you're just robotic about it, then you're gonna get really slow, creative, and thoroughness. But you might wanna just start with a skeleton portion where it's real simple, and then as you go, because you're not gonna wait till the last minute on this project, as you go, you can make it better. You can say, oh, I can just change this or change that. All right, what questions do you have? Yeah. Um, if we're doing more than five items, do we get even more points for this? No, I'll probably just grade the first five or random five. The end of November. Every project's due at the end. So November 30th, which is in two weeks. Yeah. Is there like a limit on how many food items? No, but it's got to be reasonable. You're not going to eat 100 foods. You're not, unless, you know, it's anything else. Okay, so you can stop the video.